Hi, good morning. I am Mr. De William T. Dongo, uh, your professor for today, and I'll be giving a lecture concerning the uh, commercial low pressure, low velocity duct system design consideration. This is for commercial. We're going to use the book Manual Q. And then you can buy this book at the Amazon.com, and then this is how it looks like. This is the book that uh, I use as a reference with. And then I give the lecture uh, chapter by chapter. Now, the first chapter we're going to talk about will be about uh, duct system classification. Okay, on the duct system classification, the first one we're going to talk about is about the, the duct classification. Okay, we can classify the ducts according to the function, the velocity range, the pressure class, uh, Classific construction material, the classification of uh, by air pad, and then the shape of the duct. If we're gonna go to the classification of function, then we have the supply duct, the return duct, the press air intake, exhaust duct, and then the conveying duct. Uh, as we see here in the basic diagram. We have a simple diagram of a system in which we have the, this is the simple diagram for a system, okay? The supply duct is the duct that's being used in which the supply fan is connected. The supply fan will push the, the air in the velocity and then this duct will carry it and then supply it to the inside the space or to the space where it's, it is required and be used. And then we will have the return duct. Once the supply air is being used and utilized, just like the temperature, humidity, and then satisfy the, the environment inside the space, then it will, the air will be returned back to the supply system if that air will still be used so that we can save energy. And then the next one, we got the Fresh air interduct. Fresh air that we need to suck the air outside the building to replace the air that's been discharged in order to meet the indoor air quality of the building. And then you got the exhaust duct. Exhaust duct just like uh, it exhausts all the dirty environment or air that's being used inside the room just like example. If you in the kitchen, you got an exhaust duct, it will discharge the smoke, the smell, and everything. And then we got the conveying duct. Conveying duct are used for industrial purposes. For example, right there at the grinder, at the lake machine, and the welding machine, they produce the smoke once the work is performed. And then once that smoke is produced, it, this conveying duct will lift that smoke and discharge it outside to the building. Uh, the second classification we're going to be discussing will be the classification by velocity. We can classify the ducts according to the velocity. Low velocity, that means it is 2500 ppm or less. No, feet per minute or less. And then high velocity will be uh, above 2500 feet per minute. And then the next classification we'll be talking about will be about pressure. Uh, okay, the next classification will be about pressure. There's nothing more I can talk about that, but you can read the book and get, get the reference, use the reference material more. And then we're going to talk about the classification by material. Different ducts will use a different type of material depending on the purpose of the, the air that's being used inside the system to meet the environmental requirements and architectural requirement. And then some of the materials will be used will be just like the carbon steel. And then you've got the black iron, uh, galvanized steel. Plastic uh, coated steel, aluminum, 
plastic polyurethane chloride uh, PVC, and then fiberglass reinforced uh, plastic. You got rigid fiberglass, and then uh, flexible wire LX dual duct, flexible metal duct, and then you got the concrete duct, and then the asbestos cement duct. We got some pictures over here that we can I can show you to you that uh, are be that were be used, and then we got one here. We got one right here. Okay, and then you got here, and then we got one right here, okay, and then the next one we're going to classify the duct system will be classification according to the air fat, according to the air fat. It can be a single fat uh, subcategory. Okay, you got th three category on the single fat uh, subcategory. The first one is a trunk and branch system, and then the other one is a radial system. Radial system, and this the other one is a perimeter type system. The one we have for radial type system, the picture will be looking like this. This is a radial type system, okay? And then this one right here are just the one we talk about. Rectangular trunk. Uh, <clears throat> rectangular trunk brand system. Okay, the, the other one is, uh, the next one is letter B, trunk and brand system. In, over there, you got the reducing trunk system and then the extended plenum system and then the third one will be a rising system and then letter D will be a perimeter system and then the other one will be about dual system and then the last one will be classification we are going to classify them by shape they can be a rectangular shape they can be a round shape And a uh, oval shape. In those pictures, we're gonna have, they're gonna look like this. You got oval shape, rectangular shape, and a uh, round shape. And then uh, that will be good for this chapter, in which we got it for chapter one.